Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you around some of the art and stationery stores that I got to visit here in Berlin. I went to maybe three or four and I did manage to get a lot of things because for some reason the stationery here is a lot and it's very rare. Most of them are made in Europe and Germany is pretty famous for its fountain pens. It's It has a lot of notebooks and I had a lot of new purchases, impulse, some impulse, some I really wanted to buy because I know I won't see them anywhere. So I hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching to see more of what you can see here. And don't forget to keep watching at the end of the video so I can give you some recommendations on which stationery stores or art stores or bookstores that you want to visit. Based on the places that I went to, I didn't really go to a lot. I still have to visit a lot, but for now, my my initial thought is if you want to get a hold of a lot of different art supplies for different types of crafts like stamping, painting, drawing, wire, wire work, woodwork, framing, I suggest going to Modulor. It's two floors and it's very complete with those things. And then if you want to be more particular with stationery in general, I would suggest going to Das Good House and Santoki. So Das Good House has, is a lifestyle store and a stationery store. They have a lot of greeting cards and a lot of washi tape that's very specific to their store, which I didn't see anywhere. And Santoki is more of a Korean style stationery store. So they have a lot of Korean items and it's really nice to incorporate into your journaling stash. So for the books, I really recommend Do You Read Me? I, I like to um, categorize this kind of bookstore as a very indie bookstore because the titles you see there are not the ones you mostly see on bookstores. The bookstores here are pretty good, but mostly they're in German. The one outside Modulor in the same complex has a, re it has a really nice bookstore. There are some English books, which I didn't really get to check. Mostly like best-selling non-fiction and fiction books. And then... I really think uh, going to indie bookstores helps you get a hold more of what other independent publishing um, magazines have and basically a lot of titles. I see them a lot also in New York. So that's it for some of my recommended art stores, one bookstore, and stationery stores here in Berlin. Thank you to Emily. I will link her Instagram down below for suggesting these places and she actually brought me to some of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Just feel free to like, comment, share and ask me any questions. I will probably film my haul in the upcoming videos. I still haven't sorted out my stuff. I have a lot and I'm, I'm thinking of how to pack later. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye!